Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. This is my wife, Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and Instagram. And if you could see behind Kathy, we have quite the Benz haul to go through. Yeah. Now this was a couple different trips put together, right? I've been there like every day, but like an hour or two at a time. So yeah. it's, it's a mashup, but also I've already taken some things out, listed on, put them away. Yeah. I've also took some stuff to once upon a child. <laughs> Take, take, take. <laughs> Gotten paid for it. That's so what it's really not matters. It's 100% of everything I bought, but it's a lot of it. So, yeah. the first thing I found was this, which this I did cool. show on my Instagram when I found it. But yeah, so mm -hmm. this was $8 just based on weight, which I was happy to pay. I don't, I don't know. I've always wanted one of these like pictures, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really go with anything in our house. I just, I was thinking in our guest room. Guest room? Uh, that'd be great. Maybe in the, the future shed. I don't know if you want it <laughs> to be kind of rustic out there, but. Maybe in the basement after the inventory is not in there. I don't know. Yeah. So. It's a cool piece. You've wanted yeah. it for a while. So we'll, we're, we're going to make it work somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure if you buy this new, it costs a lot more than $8. So. Yeah. I was excited about that. It's cool. It's like painted on a burlap sack. And then that same day, I found this, which I. Okay, so I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the frame and I was like, oh, that frame, I really liked the frame. And yeah. I was like, I don't know if I've mentioned like my, my furniture fund. I actually ordered some furniture mm -hmm. and it's like a rug, some chairs, some green chairs, and then like a little couch. And I, I just thought like this frame would like go well with it. Yeah. So I was going to get it for that. For the frame. Yeah. And then I just sent Chris a picture of being funny and I was like, I didn't even <laughs> pull it out of the bin. I just took a picture of it, showed him. Um, and he looked up comps. I didn't look up comps. Yeah. And then he showed me the comps and then was like, I guess you should get it. <laughs> so it's a bubble frame. So yeah. the, the glass is actually convex or concave. I don't know the one of the words, but, uh, so soup. apparently these are something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was like already planning to like kind of probably keep it. I mean the picture in it. <laughs> so we were joking around about making one of ourselves that looks <laughs> yeah. like this. Yeah. Maybe AI can generate something. <laughs> <laughs> for us, but yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I think that'll go. I'm gonna give you the picture. Maybe you can show them what I got going on for the living room. Yeah. And we'll show you the actual living room. When it's done, thing, for but, sure. I'm in the process yeah. of painting right now. <laughs> so. But this thing actually, apparently some very similar comps. This thing could be eighteen uh, hundreds. Yeah. Right. So. Not dollar. Eighteen hundreds, like the years, like eighteen nineties. But 18... dollars. This is probably a hundred to hundred fifty dollars yeah. frame. I just can't imagine shipping this, and also. Can you imagine if you broke something at all? Oh, like I know. Your shipping house said with that. I know. Piece, so, <laughs> anyways, this is a keep for now. Yeah. Um, Maybe we could find a local haunted house or something. The, also, the sell through <laughs> on those was very high. So. Yeah. Bolo oval. Bubble, bubble frame. Yeah. Bubble frame. Vintage <laughs> antique. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just show you. This is all more stuff for us, I think. Um, it should be quick because it's mostly. <laughs> Pillows. Pillows. This I was actually probably the most excited about just because um, this is Casa Luna, like so the Target's like um, line. It's like a linen blend yeah. quilt. We actually have one in like a rust color and I bought it for like the retail at Target, which I think is like 120. I was thinking this looked pretty familiar. Yeah, so <laughs> I like this color better. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm so glad I found this at the bins because it's heavy, but it's a dollar. It's 49 cents a pound for linen. So this was like a couple bucks. Yeah. I think this and all these fellows and this rug I'm going to show you was all like $11 total. So, wow. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. We're keeping, keeping this. this needs a wash, but. This is like an outdoor, indoor, well, indoor, outdoor rug. It doesn't look used. I was thinking it would look cute on our porch. Yeah. So just something to have something. It's like a runner. It's pretty long. Yeah, it's super lightweight too. Like yeah. I think some rugs are heavy, but this one is light. So that's yeah, just for our porch. And then more pillows for the, I'm probably going to sell. I was thinking the other day I'm going to start selling off my pillow collection. Wow. Yeah. To buy more pillows or what? Uh, no. <laughs> because I, well, I was buying them to like use with the furniture yeah. that I'm getting, which now that I have the furniture, I can tell what is or right. not going to go You're with kind it. of narrowing it down, right. what and you so, want to keep. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking maybe, although I think this would be too much like floral going on. I feel like these might look good with what I just picked out, but mm -hmm. I don't know because of the well, You got two of them now. Yeah. So I actually got two of those. So yeah, if I sell them, I'm gonna sell them as a bundle. And then I also got two of these. These ones I bought, I thought I was just gonna sell these right away. So two of those. Okay. So yeah, I mean, 
like I said, 49 cents a pound. So pillows are cheap. Yeah. We'll definitely have to see what they look like in the room once it's all kind right of now assembled. Our whole guest room is basically just a <laughs> mountain <full> lodge <laughs> and pillows. Uh, so those are those, and that's this one. That one's cute. Yeah, so, I like the seasonal pillows. I'm like, yeah, beading. So that. Okay, now stuff to sell. Just right here, I guess. This. I just like Lego stuff. It sells super well. It's just the case. Yeah. Um, I think this is going for like 20 bucks plus shipping. I feel like I had a yellow one when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then these were like the 69 cent thing. So new. I don't know. I didn't look up a comp on these yet, but. Oh, it's responsibility like chart. <laughs> yeah. So these are heavy. So I'm glad they let me get these as games. I don't know, hopefully like 15 or so dollars out of each. Yeah. I'm not sure. I did not look up. We might need to, I don't know, <laughs> teach our kids responsibility. I feel like it's for younger kids. Is it for younger? Yeah. Um, and then I always just get new sealed puzzles. They're usually minimum 10 bucks, probably around 15 or so. And this one was cool. It's like an escape puzzle. Nice. Yeah. I don't want to keep it though because I don't like doing puzzles. So. Um, you need an escape no, from like, puzzles. We have an escape room one I want to do, but that's not a puzzle. And then this I just thought was cute. It's it's new, but it's like kind of popping open. Mm. I think this was like 10 or 15. So. And this I just bought for us. This one's not new, although it looks pretty new inside. So Yeah, well taken care yeah, of. Yeah, I love categories. So. Do you? I don't know. I can't remember if I I've like ever played them. I like playing it, but every time I'm playing, is, this is the one where like you have a letter and then you have to like think of whatever. Oh, it is, is that what it is? Has to okay. Start with that letter, right? Yeah, I do like that game. I like it, but every time we play it, I'm like, I can't think of any S words like <laughs> ever. So, anyway. Yeah, jobs that start with R, <laughs> and then you can't think of reseller. <laughs> yeah. sketchers these are a small size so they probably won't sell super well hopefully 20 bucks or so out of those these looked almost new they're steve madden i don't like steve madden stuff that much i mean these are well, i guess they're real real leather but okay i don't know this is just not the style of shoe i like to sell i'm sure they're at least 20 bucks though mm. um these are my they look like ufos but they're my pillow so like the Oh, the pillow guy's yeah. shoes. Which gotcha. I've sold, actually, I have a pair right there that I got at a regular thrift store, the My Slippers. I yeah, know. so they're <laughs> they're not the My Slippers, they're My Pillow yeah, branding. I think it's the same thing, right? Like I would same. assume that's the branding, yeah. Anyways, I actually listed these today for, I think, around 20 bucks. Uh, these little Tevas always sell around 15 to 20. Uh, some Olakai. The leather flip flops usually sell pretty well, like 40 plus. So the men's ones do better. These are women's. I think at least 30, probably up to 40 on those. These are Dior, which they're not in great shape. I did see some comps on like way better condition for like 100, but I'm thinking I can probably get like 30 bucks for these, which is still good to me for some bin shoes. Yeah. Uh, these are Fry Men's. Nice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're like meant to look distressed little... there because they're pretty good shape overall. Yeah. So... Typically, you see boots, though, right? Is Fry and shoes? Yeah, Fry's typically boots, but they yeah. do make shoes. So, yeah, I don't know how much those are going to go for. Boots obviously go for a lot more. These are Dansko. Um, these are probably 30 to 40. And these are Tiva, and they're kind of dirty, so I need to wash them, but probably 20 just based on condition. Always a good pickup. Yeah, some good shoes from the bins. Yeah, I think I have a few more good ones in this basket some van slides those are probably 15 to 20. these i found yesterday chris was um i don't ever know if he's gonna do this for a video but <laughs> he sold something from our garage that we got for free and then yeah. we were gonna go use 
his money for that to like find some stuff to flip while he was. Yeah. I was just at the bins by myself. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you're going to the, there's no way you're going to the bins without me. <laughs> That's basically what you said. I think he spent all of $4 on the stuff to flip. <laughs> um, $4 but and like anyways, 35 cents. While so. he was looking for stuff for himself, I found these, <laughs> which is the AS98. Do you remember? These shoes, they, they look like they're super worn, but like that's kind of how they're supposed to look. I, I would not have recognized <laughs> that that was right. a good brand if I was, if you if were not you around these, and I yeah. saw them, yeah. So these are a good brand and I saw comps pretty on around a hundred bucks. So hopefully a hundred on those. Do they all look like this or is it like a different kind of style? I mean, I have booties listed. I have, I mean, they have like a lot of, okay. but they all look distressed, almost like Freebird type okay. looks. So. Um, these are Skechers, probably 20 bucks out of those. Um, dance yeah, skill. I think you did way better than me at the men's. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> just, just with that pair there. <laughs> and this too, I found those like right when I walked in there, Birkenstock, the Papilio. Okay. So, in good shape. Like Birkenstocks are usually super worn down. These look hardly worn. I think I listed these today around 60 or 70, so hopefully. Okay. And then Dance Go, really good shape. I think I listed these around 40, so. And this was from the bins too. I just had to get it because I used to have this bedding, which he doesn't anymore. I'm gonna sell the basket, but yeah. it's from Target, just super cute. I love wine and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't bring any bins to sort today. Yeah. So. All right. Um, I think this is mostly clothes, but I did find this little plushie. Up, um, right? Is that from Up? I think so. <laughs> I just listed it today, but I can't remember. The dog that like says up squirrel. Dog. Up. up dog. Yeah. yeah. Up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. But... I think his name is Doug. Oh, Doug. I thought you were saying like, what's up, dog? Well, I just copied some side I'm pretty sure they said <laughs> Doug, but D-U-G, but then other people wrote Doug like D-O-U-G, D -O -U -G. so I put both in my title. I don't yeah. know what his actual name is, though. Yeah. So it's probably that. Doug. I listed that for 20. It is Disney Parks. And then this is American Girl doll. I've not listed her yet, but in really good shape compared to all the other ones I've been selling for like yeah. 30. And I don't know if this is her outfit, but she has an outfit, so that's got to help her cause. Um, so probably like 40 bucks at least on that. Nice. Put stuff back in the bag. Jeez. <laughs> All that fit in there, huh? Yeah. This is Gap, like vintage wool, little headband Your muff thing? Yeah. I think I listed this at 20. Uh, these I might be keeping for Connor. It's Nike ACG. Okay. I was looking up comps on these just because they were interesting. Like they're Nike, but like polar type fleece. They have the like ripstop knees. Uh, since these are kid size, I'm not sure, but like, this said wolf tree inside. When I looked up like Nike wolf tree ACG, like the men's stuff was selling for like a really like 50, 60 bucks for wow. a pre owned piece. So if you find that, it's probably something good. Okay. Um, These are the brand seven. I just got these because it's the time of year where people are buying denim shorts. These are probably gonna be like 15 to 20. Um, I tried this on so it's inside out. Not to keep, I just thought it was fun. It's L.L. Bean, like vintage. It's a jacket, but it's like a pullover, so it only like zips halfway. It has the big pocket. Mm. I thought yeah, that was cool. The hoodie pocket, too. I like yeah. that. I think that's probably at least 50. I did not look up a comp, though. Um, this I think I got because like Play-Dohs usually buys like bandies and stuff, so probably so for that. Nice. This just because it's so lightweight. It's Nike, a little crop top. So hopefully 15 to 20 or so out of that. Um, this is a NASCAR shirt, I think. I believe, yeah. NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah it does Bill Elliott. Like, yeah. Looks like he drives for Dodge. So um, I did look up a comp on this. Some NASCAR tees came go for crazy amounts. I think this is like a $30 shirt maybe. Yeah. So it does have the back side. Okay. So yeah, always fun to find old t-shirts at the bins. Um, these are cinch. I like picking up cinch jeans. They usually sell pretty quickly. So. Yeah, it's a good Western brand, right? Yeah. Oh, these have, I mean, they're still gonna sell. 
They got like a weird fade line on the bottom. That's okay. Just like mm. a line. But I'll just disclose their stuff for like 20 bucks. Yeah. Normally in better shape, I'd probably list at like $29.95. These though are gonna do well, I think. These are diesel. I think these will be like a $40 to $50 pair and the Seltzer seem really good. So I think most of the distressing is on purpose. So, and then these are Sean John, which I also feel like are gonna go around 30 to 35. Okay. So not too bad. Are those vintage or? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they don't seem vintage. Does, do they still make Sean John they jeans? They made in Hong Kong, but possibly. Maybe vintage? I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen Sean John jeans in a while. But. I know. Like, I actually tossed them to the side of the bins. I was like, I'll take those. I thought that they would do well. And I don't think I've ever sold a pair, but I just stopped because I yeah. thought they were cool when we were in high school. Right, so yeah. Probably coming that back That vintage around, 90s you know. kind of style. Um, these are just like a little Eddie Bauer women's short, so probably $15 or so out of those. Um, this would probably either be for Play-Dohs. Def Leppard. I Animal. don't know Def Leppard, but I did try the shirt on just because <laughs> I could use some t-shirts. <laughs> what do you guys feel about wearing a shirt about something you don't even know about? Does that feel... Well, let's let's practice, okay? <laughs> oh my God, do you like Def Leppard? What's your favorite song? <laughs> uh, no, I just got a shirt at the bin <laughs> and I needed a shirt, so I wore it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm of the opinion it's weird to wear something that yeah. I don't know about, but... Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool shirt, though. Yeah. I, mean, I like Def Leppard. You would recognize a couple of their songs, uh, at least. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to tell you that I do. <laughs> I don't normally buy this brand. I just thought this was nice. Um, it's Tahari, but, like, it's a like a knit blazer. I'm pretty sure it's new without tag, mostly because I didn't realize it at the time, but I saw a Tahari tag in the bins, like, ripped off of something. Oh. I didn't think this... I don't know. Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, and it does, yeah, look, it, it does look. Like, oh, yeah, you know, there's the barb. So that's the reason I got it. I don't think it's going to go for a lot, maybe like 20 bucks, 15, yeah. 20. How much if you had the tag, you think? Uh, still not a lot. Not a lot, <laughs> okay. Not, yeah. yeah. But I do feel like people like knit blazers. Mm -hmm. These, though, are Nike Golf, so those should do well just because Nike doesn't make golf clothes anymore. Um... I sold a sh just a t-shirt, a men's golf Nike t-shirt the other day for $30. So oh. hopefully at least 30 on the pants, maybe a little more. Those look comfy. Yeah. And this I found while you were looking for stuff for your video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the brand. I just thought it was a nice sweater. It says Odd Molly. Yeah. So it is a wool blend, but full zip. It's cute, right? I'm sure it's probably... What's going on with the hood thing? The hat? Yeah, it's not really Is it a hood. turtleneck? It's like a... A cowl neck or something? Yeah, like a... I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of I tried feature. it on. I mean, I thought it looked nice. Yeah. Um, this is Columbia. It's men's, like, jacket. I normally don't, like, buy these. Just, like, the men's one. I'll, I'll buy them, like, to go to Once Upon a Child and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. Normally these are in like horrible condition, but this one actually seemed a really good condition. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit of dirt on the like sleeves, but it is the kind that has like the zip in place and everything. It's got the liner, nice. It needs a wash, but yeah. I can probably get 50 bucks on this if I can clean it up a little. Sweet. Does the does it have a hood zipped in it? I think so. Probably? Yeah. Yeah. Um, got a couple of hats. Vineyard Vines, I listed this, I think, at 15. This one, well, I asked Chris if he wanted it because he has these and he likes them, but this seems like a smaller Yeah, size. I've got a big head. So I tried it on my kid and it looked cute, so I'm probably yeah. just going to keep it for our kiddos. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Patagonia hats, even pre-owned, even like sometimes with sweat marks, you can get like 15 bucks, so. Yeah. I would grab that at the bins no matter what. Uh, this is just a basic Nike, like a little crop. Probably like 10 to 15. Uh, these are in horrible condition, Lululemon, but I was just going to take them in for the little trade-in thing to get mm. $10. So. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done it since the one day. Actually, my slides that I bought with my credit last time just broke today. I right. wonder if they have like some sort of replacement for you. Because like, they're not that old. They're not that old. I don't wear them. I wear them 
frequently, but like not so much that they're like the bottoms are not worn down at all. Right. If you looked at them, they look in good condition. So. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna glue them, but we'll try it to fix them. It was sad because even though I didn't pay that much out of pocket for them. I mean, you bought them new, yeah. right? So. <laughs> Uh, this I just got for myself just to wear around the house. Some Gap waffle gathers. Um, these are American Eagle mom jeans. <laughs> nice. Had to get some mom jeans. So probably 15 to 20 if the buy sell trade does not take them. Look, guys, I wasn't surprised that there was holes in them. <laughs> um, another shirt. Grateful Dead. Just for the Play Dohs. What's your favorite song? <laughs> <laughs> um. This is Lucy. I don't usually pick this brand up, but I don't know. A vest is lightweight and usually probably at least 20 bucks, so I did get it. Cool. Uh, this I got mainly just to try on, but I did not like it. So I'm gonna list it. It's not like a brand, I think it's just like a little boutique-y thing. Willow Avenue. Yeah, but just a basic pocket shirt. Has some floral stuff. I don't know. Hopefully, like 15 to 20. Oh, these. I just, my leggings that I like to wear. Yeah. That I just bought two pairs on Amazon for like 35 bucks. <laughs> and these are from events, and I have another pair in my size. For, for like 35 cents. 50, yeah. <laughs> um, these, I would just consider bread and butter. I don't think Buy Sell Trade will take them. I've taken them a few. They never buy them. Silver jeans. But I can usually get 15 to 20, so I still pick them up. All right, that was that. Nice. Uh, this is like everything I bought today, I think. And then, so this probably came from the same day as this stuff. Um, this was Levi's, like a faux leather. I might take that to Plato's, like a faux leather jacket. Okay. Otherwise, I'm sure it's at least 20 on my own. This is Patagonia, but it's like very pilly and it has an embroidery. So I was gonna see if you wanted to work that out. Maybe Another try to rest. seam rip it? Yeah, we still have a couple pieces. We we're gonna try to do that on. Aspen Point. So, I mean, if it didn't have this, I've sold worse condition Patagonia yeah. still for 15 to 20, like just the vest. So this is still probably like a $20 piece, but mm -hmm. I don't know about with that, so. Yeah. We'll see. Sounds like a like a nursing facility or yeah, like a Aspen nursing Point. home or something. Aspen Point? It's something mental health maybe. Oh, mental health? I'm not sure. That's yeah. <laughs> um, this is North Face Kids down jacket. It needs washed, but is it the 550 down? Yeah. So it's a pretty high down fill, so that's good. Is that um, what that means? I, I had no idea. Yeah, I think the higher... The number, like the one where they call it, like that marmot jacket I recently sold was like 700. Okay. I sold for like 80 bucks, so. Okay. This is a kid jacket though. This is probably like 40 or so if I can get it clean. I don't see any tears. I mean, some feathers poking out, but. Yeah. Yeah. I like selling North Face down on my own. Um, this is also down, but it's just Land's End, a women's vest, so that's probably around 20. Um. This is Paxson. The Bicell Trade usually takes the Paxson jeans that I bring them, so. Yeah. And then these are American Eagle Festival Flare. These are from 2022, so not too old. Um, okay. I bet the Bicell Trade would take that style. So. Sweet. Yeah. I haven't taken many bins. I took one to Plato's the other day and got like $37 for eight things, which is good. That's around $5 a piece, but. Yeah. Um, I just haven't been finding a ton to take to them, so. Mm -hmm. You did the Once Upon a Child, though. Yeah, that's what I, I've been doing Once Upon yeah. a Child, like once a week at least, but yeah. the others I haven't really been. I haven't been uptown cheapskate in a few months, I don't think, so. Yeah. Uh, this is Cabela's. Okay. I like listing camel pieces. It's probably, I think this is women's, yeah. It's probably around 20. Uh, this I got because it was new. It's Tipsy Elves. Tipsy like, Elves. You know, like the sweaters. Yeah. I was, it, it was on Shark Tank. I feel yeah. like I always think of <laughs> Shark Tank. I used to sell for a lot years ago. Now it's not yeah. as much. But since this is a new one piece thing, it's probably, I mean, I'm sure this is at least 20. Hopefully like 30 bucks. Nice. Uh, this I just got because it was new, but it's like a lucky brand bra. It's probably at least 10 bucks. 
Alright, uh, this is Coldwater Creek, which I don't buy a whole lot of Coldwater Creek. I think I actually bought something else today that was Coldwater <laughs> Creek, but it has to be like a pretty, in either interesting or yeah. just like a nice substantial piece, which I thought this was. Like it's a like a nice coat? plaid, yeah, wool blend. Okay. So I think probably 30 bucks out of that. Um, I was going to take this one on a trial because they would pay really well for it, but I think I'm going to just keep this for Connor. How random. I found both pieces, like not even in the same bin. I mean, they might have been donated by the same person, but... So it's a set. I don't know if it like... Or they just go together. Just, same. I mean, they're just like both Columbia Yeah. and the same size. Okay. So, boys 10, 12, the pants, and then the jacket with the Omni heat, so... Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd call it a set. this for him, that'd be like over 100 bucks. You right. Know, so. Yeah. So, yeah. That's now you can shovel the driveway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is another North Face down piece. Yeah. This one, the tag's like fading, but I'm pretty sure it's a women's large. Needs a good wash, but should do well after that. Cool. And then these are some Ariat men's jeans, which always do well. These are probably 40, I want to say, at least 30. It's got some nice pocket details. Yeah. So, there's that. All right. And yeah, just everything I bought today. So, there is kid stuff in here since I actually picked up my bin from Once Upon a Child, dropped it off, went to Ben's, went back and got my money. They gave me $110 today. So, yeah. That was exciting. <laughs> Uh, these I actually might just get for Sai. They're Walmart jeans, but Sai doesn't like jeans that much, but these are like super soft, so maybe I can. Yeah. He needs sometimes jeans for certain things, so I can probably convince him to wear those. Uh, just little Carter's piece. You know how I've said like they don't take Gerber? Mm -hmm. I see it in there, so really I'm going to try to put this try in it again. and see. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Carter's. So that's for once upon a child. This is too, it's Matilda Jane, but like a kid size. So okay. I will take that there. These are Prana men's, like a, their flannel line Ooh. pant. So they got that worn in look, but I think people like that. So these are probably at least 20 up to 30. Um, these need a good wash. I don't know if they're gonna come clean, but they are made well. I felt like they were an okay style mid-rise kick out jeans, so, and they're in a size 28 tall, so. Okay. If I can get them clean, they're probably like a $30 pair. Okay. They look, they don't look too dirty to me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, yeah, super obvious. So like, even if they don't come clean, I'm gonna list them and just point out the flaws. Yeah. Um, these are men's Abercrombie, like cargo pant. So these are probably like 30 bucks. The like Y2K Abercrombie cargos are going to like 50 plus. So these are just a newer model. Uh, more mom jeans? Yes, but the highest rise mom jeans. The highest rise? Is that what it's called? That's what it says, yeah. Hmm. So, bicycle trade. This, I don't pick up a ton of Adidas. I thought this was a nice little jacket. Um, it needs a wash, but all the flaws seem like they'll wash right out. Otherwise, it seemed to be in okay shape. Climate proof. Yeah. I nice. sold a pair of Adidas, like, men's pants today. They sold them one day for, like, maybe $17. So, I don't know. This jacket's probably, like, 25 or so. Nice, deep purple color. Yeah. Um, this is Carter's, so for Once Upon a Child. More Once Upon a Child, Cat and Jack. Probably also cat and jack because it looks the same, yeah. Those are cute little dresses. This one, counting daisies. Strawberries. And this is cat and jack. It's new a tad, but it's just the suspender. It probably had like a little dresser, sh like a little shirt mm. or something. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they take that. Um, and then this is like a youth size Under Armour, so that will go to Once Upon a Child. And this is Carter's for Once Upon a Child. So I already have like a yeah. good start to my new bin. Uh, this is Columbia, but like a women's snow pant. So I will probably list those. I'm sure those are at least 30. All right, these I got because they were new. It's Old Navy. 
but no. Um, high rise, slouchy taper, and a size eight tall, so I think that's a good style. Hopefully, okay. 20 bucks or so. Slouchy taper. <laughs> This is, needs a good wash. I don't know that it'll even come. It's just like very worn in, but it's a kid's Patagonia basic fleece. So I don't know. Even if it doesn't come super much nicer, I'm sure it's at least 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I'll wash that. Yeah, this is that other cold water creek piece. I just bought this because it was 100% wool and I thought it was a cute little Christmas sweater. Yeah. I like when stuff has like patchwork. Mm -hmm. I thought that was nice. Has some stuff on the back too. So that's, that's probably at least 20, maybe like 30 bucks. Um uh this I'm gonna take this once upon a child, it's old navy. Otherwise, if they don't buy it, Connor will have that. Mm -hmm. This I'll list, it's a J. Crew men's flannel. So that's probably 15 to 20. These I just bought because they were new. It's Banana Republic. Work pant. They're a size zero. I'd be happy if I got 20 bucks for those. Yeah. Looks like they were trying to get 17. Yeah. <laughs> well, for a size zero. Uh, these, I think I just bought these for Connor. They're mm -hmm. just some old navy play shorts that he can wear over the summer to do some yard work. <laughs> yeah. He's been super, yeah. super excited about the yard work. <laughs> this again, I just bought because it was new. It had a Marshall's tie on it. I might try this. I don't know. Dresses. Man, that reminds me. You remember those old posters when we were a kid? Posters? That you stare at it and eventually oh. it shows a, like a right, secret so image. I can't wear this. <laughs> yeah. I'll just be staring at you all night. <laughs> um, these are for one spawn and child. I don't know the brand, but I thought they were in good shape, so I grabbed them. Little plaid pants. And some little kids' Levi's for once upon a child. And this might be weird to you, but some kids' bomba socks I'm going to wash and give to our kids. Oh, that's so weird. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, these are expensive new. All right. And then last. The last. Two bags in here, but this one doesn't have much in it. Okay. Um, so this, I just thought was cool. Wow, that is cool. It's, I can't remember. I had Google Lens. I think it was like Jeanette Adams, maybe. Okay. I don't know much about like old glassware, but Google Lens does. <laughs> so, what? Do I thought you dropped it. Drop it? <laughs> um, I'm surprised I made it here without dropping it yet. So. <laughs> Anyways, I think this was like 20 bucks. Maybe okay. it wasn't going for a ton, I don't think. It needs a good wash. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, 69 cents a pound for this stuff. I got this. I already took some of this stuff out. I got us some pans and then they counted this as dishware. I think all that was like six bucks. So sweet. This is Pottery Barn. It it does have like some scuffs. I mainly got this for us. I was like, oh, that'd be cute on a little coffee table. Yeah. So, Luckily, you're married to a woodworker yeah. and I can <laughs> I sand that down that and refinish. It, so. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I thought it was nice. So did not cost a whole lot. Um, and then this is, what's the movie? We just saw it, right? Oh, is that the, Fairly where they all have magic? I mean. In, in, in Canto or uh, something? Yeah. I yeah. So. so, you know, I like picking up little Disney plushes at the bins if they're in good shape. They, most of them are at least like 10 bucks, so. Yeah. Yeah, I did not look up a comp. I also did not look up a comp. This is American Girl, but the older, like, Pleasant Co. one. I feel like her hair is probably cut, but. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe how much American Girl you find. I can't either because this one <laughs> and that one, they weren't in new bins. Like, they were picked over and normally people will, like, grab the dolls right away. Yeah. There's a ton of the Target dolls that look similar in the bins, but mm -hmm. usually people will grab the American Girl dolls and, like, take them right to their cart. So, I have been very lucky lately. Uh, this time I texted Chris, should I get these because... Cute. Yeah, when we were at a little Christmas thing, they had some ornaments. Yeah. What is it like laser burned or whatever? Oh yeah, yeah. Wood so, wood burned. Like, oh, we should do that. Yeah. Which, I mean, we could have made this part too, but these are already ready to go. Yeah. We could maybe burn some. The kids are old enough where yeah. I think they can start doing some like wood burning and stuff too. So. so that could be we'll a start. fun project come Christmas. Yeah. Uh, this, I did get because it was brand new. This is just for us. It was like in a new sealed thing but i wanted to see the print to see if i wanted it so mm. i thought the print was cute so i got it i like mushrooms though. mushrooms yeah butterflies um, we'll woodsy because it it's super soft cool so that and then this 
I think I bought this to eat, but I did look up the comp because I never heard of the brand. And it looked like even pre-owns were selling for over $100. It's a duvet cover, although I can't. The tag does not say if it's like a king or mm. full or whatever. So. What to measure it or something? Yeah. But I was hoping it was a king because we could use it extra. I'm trying to find the brand. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. Are you in there? <laughs> uh, bull and branch and it's like organic cotton so like brand new a duvet covers like $350 wow. so like yeah, pre-owned ones were selling for around 100 to 130 you know I didn't look it over super well to check for stains or anything because right when I'm pricing at the bins yeah I think my this was less than three bucks so yeah um and I like white ones, so I'll right. just soak that, and that should be nice. So we put that, and you put the new quilt you got, <laughs> kind of folded at the base Some for the winter. Pops of color. No, just go all white and cream. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> all right, last bag. Oh yeah, this is where I put all the goodies. Ooh. Oh, there's a few. <laughs> Mainly this. <laughs> Uh, these are some North Face men's pants. I took video of some of these to make a reel, so I am probably gonna make a reel, but I don't know if this video will come out yeah. before my reel comes out. So, yeah. Anyways, North Face men's like a hiking short. That's probably twenty to twenty-five. And then yeah, this was. I mean, it was a new bin, but not really because as I walked in, you when you walk in the bins. If they're not currently doing a rotation, you can kind of tell what the newest thing is because most of the people will be looking for right, that. Right, right. So that's just where I headed. I was just like, okay, I'll start looking in there. So new as in like, but it had already been there at least for minutes. Right. And nobody was even there anymore still looking through it. So hmm. this was in a bin. Patagonia. Just hanging out. That's a cool pattern. I know. I'm pretty sure it's men's. It's a small. So that's probably 80 to $100. I only spent 70 today, so this piece would probably cover my whole haul today. Nice. Um, this I thought was a cool piece too. Pendleton vintage sweater. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. So, love that. That's probably, I don't know, these used to, I feel like, go for more. No, it might only be like 30, hopefully like 50, but we'll see. And then this, I think I'm gonna need to soak this and I don't know if it's gonna come super clean, but I figured if only I just show you. Yeah, so it looks like it got yeah. wet linen. It's linen, but it's CP shades. So I've sold, I can't remember what the, I feel like the last piece was just a very basic shirt sold for like 40 something. Mm -hmm. I have a dress in my personal closet that I found at a Goodwill that I'm probably gonna list. Like CP shades retails for so much, but I did see a comp on this exact one with this super old tag um, that sold within the last few days. I think it was like 30 something. So. Okay. Just this piece, well, not in this condition though. So. Right, if we can get that watermark out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyways, definitely Bolo CP shades though. Um, and then this, I, I think it's men. I'm not sure. I thought it was women's at first, but when I was Google lensing, it might be men's. It's Brooks Brothers, which they do make women's, but it's like a Sherpa. I know it's white. These just need lint. Well, but like it looks like it's in great shape. Yeah. So I think this is like around 40. Okay. So. It's got the thumb. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> The thumb hole. So. Yeah. I liked that. Um, that was all the clothes, I think. This, at first I saw it and I was like, oh, is it, it's a jelly cat. It's not. Mm. It's a, just the brand Aurora, which just makes a bunch of random plush, but it's a daisy. So I just, look, it's so soft. Yeah, I was it looks like, soft. This is probably a good one. So I looked it up. I saw it sold in the 25 to $30 range just for this. So okay. that might be a decent little pickup. I just, yeah. Plus, it weighs like nothing at the bin, so. And this was just cool. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go for a ton, but at least 10 bucks, maybe 15 to 20. Let me see if I can remember his name. Is it like Wadsworth or something like that? I don't even know. Or Cogsworth or like something? Clocks, oh. Cogs, Clocksworth? I can't remember. Something. <laughs> even though I go Beauty and the Beast, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this we got because I've sold like one or two in the last couple months, so. Just the, like a CPOP bag. Oh, like a travel kit, yeah. travel case? Yeah, so they don't go for a lot, but they've been selling for like 15 to 20 bucks. Hey. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I got this. It's just some little bracelets. Genuine tiger eye and crystal glass bead bracelets. 
Nice. Tiger eye is believed to bring courage and self confidence. Okay. <laughs> Weren't know. you saying like they had there was a whole bin of like jewelry? Yeah, it wasn't today? today, but yeah, I've never really seen it, but like people were going crazy for it too, which I mean I guess makes sense if you find like some real gold in there or something. Yeah. But what are the I would odds, imagine though? that their store would go through it themselves. I don't know. And it's all tangled, I would imagine. It was all tangled. Oh, yeah, man. I was like, I'm not even gonna mess with those bins. Yeah. So um these are Tebas. Okay. So these are probably at least 20, maybe like 30. This seems like an interesting pair, so. Put those with the shoes. And then, yeah, only found two shoes today. These Merrells, though, are really nice. Um, really nice tread. So yeah, these nice are boots. probably like $50 pair. And then I got a candle. What, what's She only charged me 50 cents for this one, yeah. So. Man, Ben's candles? Yeah. Like, can you find any better value? <laughs> right. That's probably a seventeen dollar candle at a store. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I thought it was a huge. <laughs> this is a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I did tell you the price for everything, it was probably like no more than two hundred dollars. Yeah. Which is crazy. Which you got like hundred and ten from. Yeah. From uh, Once Upon a Child, anyway. So, <laughs> starting off good. Thank you so much for hanging out for this one. We do appreciate you so much, and make sure you stick around for the next. Bye. Bye, bye, guys.